back at it again. Back at it again. For guys who don't really know anything about my channel, once again, uh, I haven't posted a video in a very long time. Rather, it had been um, me doing any game reviews or any just rants on social commentary or anything that's going on. Because uh, recently, I've just been kind of, you know, just been laying low, trying to expand my income uh, and really just work on myself a lot more lately. And I think the last video I put out was probably uh, the little skit that I did. Uh, which is like the, a series of comedy skits I'm actually going to start doing relatively more of pretty soon. But I haven't posted a video in a while. And uh, just want to let you guys know I'm safe. I'm alive. Not dead. I've had some comments. People ask I was dead. The frustrated game reviewer was dead. You know, frustrated game reviewer, Houdini. Uh, you know, I am not, not going anywhere. You guys are going to hear my voice pretty much for eternity. This channel is always going to be around. And Scorpio and Severe Universe will continue to grow. Now that that's out the way, um, kind of want to just do a little video today on just the state of everything right now. Uh, for all my people that watch my channel for, for the gaming reviews that I've done over the years, you know, I really apologize. I haven't really posted as many videos and reviews like that within the last year. And uh, a lot of that just has to do with, uh, it's not because I'm running out of ideas. I actually have scripts that I've written back in 2010. I actually have like three scripts I wrote back in 2010 that I've never even recorded. I've got some reviews that I actually started recording years ago that I just never even finished doing. I, I definitely, I have like a multitude of ideas, but I just kind of, I mean, as you guys know, it, these videos take a lot of work. Uh, it's a lot of effort that has to go into this stuff. And, um, you know, generally I'm doing all the work by myself, all the writing, all the production all the editing, all the acting. I mean, you guys see, I'm pretty much been a one one man army for the last 10 years. I mean, and you guys have been pretty much, you know, been getting free entertainment for the last 10 years out of these game reviews. So, you know, I'm still going to make them You're not going anywhere. I'm not asking, you know, for somebody to eat. I'm not e begging, asking for people to send money or I won't make any reviews. I still have a lot of reviews in the making. And, um, you know, if, if, if you guys, you know, want me to make more videos, you can always send suggestions of stuff that uh, you want me to do. And, you know, I'll definitely keep that in mind and start working on it. But I, I still have all the stuff. I, I'm financially good to make the videos. It's just, it just takes a lot of effort. And, um, you know, and also when I put out the reviews, I want my the quality of my reviews to be better. I don't mean, as you guys know, I don't like to really make the same thing over and over again. I feel like that's what kind of separates me from other people that that's on YouTube that do the game reviewing thing or the rants or whatever is that I'm always doing something that's a little bit different from what the last person did. I'm always like studying other reviewers, videos, other people's content, and just basically trying to manifest what I know of how I would like to be entertained. Like I always like to look at it from my own perspective. So I've just been kind of, uh, you know, been waiting to do that. I actually have a couple of reviews uh, that I got written now that I want to start filming soon, but I mean, you know, I, I, I'm going to get into those soon, but like I said, it takes a lot of time. It's a lot of effort. And, you know, I appreciate you guys supporting the channel for the last 10 years and everybody that's commenting and everything. But, you know, everything's going to still continue. It's just at a gradual pace. And also, too, you know, um, I mean, for anybody that also, would, you know, would want me to make more reviews. I mean, honestly, like it's just like anything. I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't expect like a little small TV station like UPN to survive that long if nobody's funding it. You know, anything that, that basically you want to be entertained by, you have to be able to put some kind of, you know, some kind of money into it. I mean, I put a lot of money into Scorpio and Sebek, and that's why you guys are able to see the kind of quality reviews that you've been seeing. Because, I mean, a lot of this stuff, I put my own money into it, so that's why it's been able to get to this point. But I have to be honest, in the last 10 years, I mean, I've been making free content, and I haven't really asked for any, any compensation for it. And I'm, I'm a businessman at the end of the day. You know, I love entertainment. I love comedy. I love video games and everything. But I'm not saying that I'm doing this strictly for business purposes. But I mean, I would like I would like some kind of charitable donation or something, you know, every now and then to kind of encourage me to at least want to do more reviews. And I'm not saying that people, you know, I'm not saying you guys have to send the money and I'm not going to make the content. I'm just saying that if it were to happen where people would donate to, to my uh, cash app, dollar sign Scorpio and Sebek then that would really encourage me to make more reviews. I mean, that's just like anybody. You know, you wouldn't want to go to your job and keep doing the same thing for the net, for, the, for for the next 10 years and you're not ever getting a raise for it. Everybody has to get compensated for what their arts and what their gifts are. And, uh, 
that's that's generally uh, why I haven't been making as many videos. It's kind of just a personal thing. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm still motivated. I still have a lot of energy and a lot of drive to do it. I, I got the same motivation to do these videos just like I did back in April of 2010 when I first started them. It's just that, I mean, I've pretty much gotten seasoned with this. So I know, I know my, I know, I, I know basically what I'm doing it for. And I know my, uh, my privilege that I have with it. And if for anybody that probably hasn't really seen the, the content like that, I mean, I have 10 years worth of content that's on here. So you could always look at the older videos and just stay tuned for the next ones when they come up. <laughs> okay. And now that that's out the way, we five minutes in. So I kind of want to get into what I really want to speak about now. And what I really want to speak about is just like the overall planning of, of humanity right now. Because, I mean, as you guys have seen, I mean, I, I made my uh, videos on the sale into your independence. And to be all the way honest, it's not really directed towards any specific race. I mean, just because I'm black, that I'm, I'm not running out here with a fist running around and an afro and shit trying to encourage all black people to do this stuff. This is really for all races. Because right now, I mean, it, as, a, as a state of human beings, I mean, this it's pretty serious right now. Like, it's really just, uh, it's, it's really a difference in between poor and rich. As I've mentioned in all my videos with the selling to your independence and all stuff. And I find it very ironic how uh, I've been making these videos in the last year and how right now it's like, basically, if you want to survive, you have to have like your own independent gig in order to even survive out here because it's millions of people that, that just lost their jobs because of this COVID-19 issue, which, you know, it, it is real. It is people that die from it. I know people that personally have died from it. I know somebody personally that that's in my family that had to get tested for it. And I live in the city of Atlanta and, um, you know, it's, it's pretty serious here. I mean, you, you guys know the CDC is located right here down the street from where I am right here in, um, in Decatur. So it's, 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 it's definitely something that's real. It's definitely something that's going on, but we do know, you know, for anybody that knows history that, um, uh, you know, that, that it, it always has to be something that, that has to be done by the elite to mitigate the population so that people, so, so that they can basically maintain their control. You know, everybody knows that it's, at this point, it's not about money. You know, it's not about money because we've been living poor for so long. So if we've been living poor, <clears throat> and as I've said before, we got to get up, we have to work a 40 hour a week schedule. We have to basically, you know, work for years to get a two cent raise. I mean, we, we're living in poverty. It's no such thing as a middle class anymore. It's literally just elite and poor. So if we're living like this, then that means somebody else has been living very wealthy, very lavishly and very comfortably for these last couple of years. And at this point, if you've been living so long, lavishly, comfortably after you've stolen basically everything on this planet, the last thing that's left to do really is just to control the, 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 the main people that's here. And the main people that's here is the poor. I mean, forget the whole like aboriginal thing. I mean, we all know that, you know, blacks are the first ones that were here. We all know we were the ones that came from America. This is our original land. And I mean, this this stuff is pretty much common knowledge now. But at this point, it's not really even about that, because let's be honest. I mean, it's it's the difference between how you're going to fight with your money. It's, it's, it's the difference between poor and rich, because people that's wealthy right now, they don't have to worry about going to the stores. They probably got, you know. Food that's, that they have saved up from, from years ago that they probably have on their own farms. From, from They probably got eggs, chickens, and all kind of stuff on their own farms because they have their own land and their own basically estate that, that allows them to continue doing what they were doing. It's like nothing has changed for them, whereas the, the less fortunate are the ones that had to suffer from this. So this thing has been really showing that. I don't know. It's, it's, it's showing that you've you got to really do your own independent thing out here. and um. Me personally, you know, I mean, I've been affected by this thing as well. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm not somebody who's going to be sitting here bullshitting and sugarcoating. I mean, y'all y'all pretty much know how I live. Y'all saw how, you know, back in 2011 when I showed y'all my door, when my door got kicked in from when, uh, you know, when I was in involved with, with, with some people that were doing illegal activities. I showed y'all, you know, what's going on in my life. So I don't have nothing to hide. And uh, as far as this COVID thing, I mean, you know, it's personally even affected me. You know, I, I, I got laid off of my job because of this. You know, I'm still hopefully get this little unemployment in this uh this six hundred dollar a week stimulus package that they pass it for people who got it. But nevertheless, I'm affected by it. And 
you know, and I had I had to improvise, essentially. I mean, luckily for me, I already still had my cleaning business going on. So I wasn't really affected to where I'm not able to pay my bills and, you know, and my overhead and everything of that nature. I mean, everything still was able to go in motion, but, but only because I was able to continue doing my own business, my own cleaning stuff. And along with the cleaning handyman business that I got, it's like that's really the only reason I've been able to be fine because I went on ahead and took this route prior to all this stuff happening. But now it's not too late because they're they're getting ready to pass another stimulus package where we might get another twelve hundred dollars or it might even be universal income. And people are still losing jobs. It's still like a lot of people that a lot of jobs right now that aren't going to be here in the future because, you know, this whole decade is going to be essentially about saving money. You know, mitigating and saving money. So, you know, I, I really encourage uh, everybody that that's been supporting Scorpio and Cement Universe the last ten years. Like, you know, I mean, it's, I really do love the fact that you guys been doing this, and um, I, I really want to feel like I want to give my knowledge and my message on to you guys now. Besides me just talking about the video game stuff, because I mean, you know, I this is this is stuff that you know I kind of saw coming a long time ago. I mean, if you guys don't know, I went to school. For history. And one thing that history tells you, everybody thinks that history is just a matter, a matter of just studying facts and knowledge and dates and events and things of that nature. But really, the nature of what history teaches you is how to understand a cause and effect relationship. And that's honestly how I've always been able to prepare for a lot of stuff in my life to where I'm not really like affected by what's going on either in my social environment or anything that's going on globally, because I kind of understand that cause and effect relationship thing. And as we know, I mean, you know, prior to me going into this phase where we, we you know, you, you know, you see in this economy is going to change. I kind of had already saw that it was shifting towards this where, you know, most of the population was going to have to be forced to be independent, independent contractors. And um, it's no such thing as like, like I said, a, eight, a, a, eight, a 40 hour work schedule and you having this, um, you know, this, this normal life. It's, it's all over. I don't think it's ever going to go back to all. Uh, what it was because we all know the elite is basically they, they're basically trying to change the whole society you know they're, they're getting tired of the fact that you know we have rights we can get on youtube we can speak our voice and do all this stuff i mean it's like after a while that's not really beneficial for for somebody that has all the power and has all has all the resources but it's not that many of them you understand, like, it's like, you know, at the end of the day, it's way more poor people than it is rich people. And if the poor people were to realize what they could actually do to band together, then that's it for the rich people. All we got to do is just take the resources they have. And we already kind of see a trickle and down effect with them shaking the pockets of a lot of these banks and, 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 and a lot of these um these corporations to where a lot of people are getting these benefits. A lot of smaller companies and individuals are now getting these stimulus benefits and these unemployment benefits of these nature. Because it's, it has to be a trickle down effect. So now that you know that's going on, I mean, it's 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 just that time now. Uh, I, if, if if I were you guys, I mean, a lot of you guys have been pretty much growing up watching me. I've had some people look all in my comments. I've, they said that man, I'm twenty something years old now. I've been watching you since I was thirteen, and sometimes that makes me realize, like, wow, I have been doing this that long. Like you guys are a little bit younger than me, you know. So. I feel like, you know, this is for me to be able to pass my wisdom down to you guys. Like, you probably haven't heard any other game reviewer on the Internet give you any type of information. The only thing these guys want to do, essentially, is just ask you for a donation, you know, keep entertaining you and just basically keeping you at a at a at a sleep state so that you could keep funding and feeding them and not being aware of your own situation. But I want to make everybody aware of all this stuff, because that's what, essentially what Scorpio and Sebek is about. I mean, I'm going to make my money. It's like I don't really need everybody to be giving me money in order for me to be successful. Like I said before, I'm a businessman. I mean, if this pandemic didn't affect me like that because I prepared, then that obviously means I'm equipped to know how to go out here and, and build my, my own income. So it's not necessarily about that. It's necessarily about the information. And rather you guys are being entertained through my game reviews or through any type of other uh, video content that I produce. It all has a source of information that's that's behind it as well. That I would like you guys to understand. And a lot of it does have to do with the independent thing. You know, you guys really are going to have to start, you know, you, you have to get out of that fear that, you know, that um that your job is over. The country is going to change and you don't know what to do. Like now it's a lot of the dreams and all the aspirations you had. A lot of that stuff, you're going to have to take this stimulus money and this unemployment money and start investing it in that stuff. 
because all of our jobs are about to go. I mean, some of us probably might not even be able to collect any kind of uh, unemployment benefits. We might be able to just get the stimulus money and have to figure out what we're going to do with that. So getting serious, guys, it's, it's getting very serious and all. Uh, it's just, just something I was just kind of had in mind. And I just want you guys to stay tuned, but I'm going to continue more videos. Uh, keep informing you guys on what I have going on and what's going on with Scorpio Civet Universe. And I just want you guys to stay safe and stay tuned up there.